Hello everyone, my name is Terry Saka, and I'm along with Dr. Charles Vance, and you are watching The Wealth Transfer. Charles, hey, glad you're along, <laughs> Terry. I didn't know you were throwing it off that quick. Hey, look at this scripture. This is amazing. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 says, Through wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Man, that's important. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. And let's not underestimate wisdom and knowledge. So here at the Wealth Transfer, we do welcome everyone here. And we, we want you to understand that I know global economics can be kind of dry. Uh, biblical principles we kind of all want to dig into. Uh, protecting and preserving our family, we're definitely interested in. But understanding the global economics, the wisdom of what's really going on is essential to protecting and preserving your family's wealth, your inheritance to your children and your children's children. So as some of this stuff may seem like, oh, why do I have to hear about China or other nations? Because we're in a global economy that is directly impacting us. And that scripture is vital, not just wisdom in the word, wisdom in what's going on around us. What do you mean by global economics? You know, sometimes we use terms, the news use ter uses terms, we don't, we don't even really know what they mean. But what yeah. do you mean by global economics? Well, it's all about the trade we do with one another. Uh, but what's even worse, if people really knew, Charles, we bailed out the world in this last, in 2008, when we collapsed, we did what we call a currency swap in the world, meaning we printed literally nine trillion, trillion dollars in loans and currency swaps, meaning we kind of bailed out the world when 2008 market collapsed. Our economies are tied together. So when one does one, one does the other. Now, you're hearing right now how the dollar is strong. It's really not. The numbers are all misleading. It's only strong because Europeans are weak. Japan is weak. So this global economy, we're tied together. So tied together that if one major entity really falls, the whole system falls, and 2008 was a precursor of that. So, so several years ago, if, if one country had financial problems, it didn't necessarily affect another country. That's, that's exactly but right. now, the, the World Bank, the IMF, you told me that there's an international bank of settlements, there's a new group of people that have come together that, that really is under this banking cartel, yeah. uh, that they have connected all the money together. Yeah. Uh, although it might be printed in a Chinese dollar or, mm -hmm. uh, or a Japanese dollar, an American dollar, it's really all connected together because of this global economic trading that is going on. Right. Now, for instance, this is great because we've been talking for the last few weeks, and we should say, I, I know, I want to do this anyway, just for those that maybe have caught us for a couple weeks, um, we should probably say that uh, welcome to the family at uh, Family Entertainment Television. Uh, we here at the Wealth Transfer, Dr. Vance and I, have been on Christian Television Network for some two years. Uh, doing this type of news program, and we have expanded into some other areas that have never been exposed to the program. Uh, but we've been on uh, Christian television for a couple years doing this. Uh, we do take seriously the information that we share. Uh, we want to give you news and information that you're not getting from the mainstream because they have an agenda. And our agenda here in the body of Christ is here's the truth. You make the decision that best protects and preserves your church, ministry, and family. Well, Terry, some people might even question what gives you the right to the ability to share this information. You own Cornerstone Asset Metals. You guys deal in precious metals, uh, particularly silver. You have said this over and over again that you like silver. Uh, because it's it's finite, it, uh, it's used in the industry. Well, it's, it's our constitutional used. money, so yeah, it's, it's ours. It's being used up mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, in the technology industry. It's being used, and it's it's really starting to dwindle down the mm -hmm. the amount of it that's available. Um, but you you uh, mint coins. Uh, you guys, in mm -hmm. fact, I'm playing with these here. Uh, yeah. Unconsciously, almost while we're <laughs> we're here, these, these are uh, silver coins, one ounce silver coins. And what's cool about the stuff that you have minted is it's got religious 
uh, Judeo-Christian yeah. information on it, which puts it in a different category than just money. Well, I call it a first. A, we call it a First Amendment coin because it does have protection, uh, religious protection, in that respect, because it's all loaded with with Christian and and uh, Judeo-Christian overtone to it. Uh, but the bigger part that I, I really appreciate is we have received what is known as market certification. The hallmark on our coin not is just a regular coin. The hallmark gives us literally LBMA Comex refinery acceptable quality and certification. A lot of people that may not mean anything. The bottom line that me what that means, our product actually has the highest stamp of approval next to an American Eagle or a government coin. Most silver does not. And that is a blessing and favor in God. And I'm a chief strategist at, at Cornerstone. It's my main job. I'm an analyst. Uh, but you, I, worked, you worked in the business for a long time, didn't finances, you? Finances, multiple licenses in financial advisory, in uh, commodities, in uh, protecting, preserving, in, in you know, Series 7, 3, 63, 5. I'm an accredited asset management specialist. I get the finance world, left it, and went into nothing but hard, real, tangible assets because we realize America, we've been really deceived in mm -hmm. the currency system and we're putting our faith in places we shouldn't. And all I know is, ironically, Charles, in just 10 years, we talk like this all the time, in 10 years, for instance, this currency note buying power now. It's not what the digits in your bank account say. It's the buying power buys far less. And we don't have to really prove that because we all go to the store. Where in 10 years, if you would have had your currency in silver versus in paper money in the bank, that same 100000 would be worth 400000 buying power today. It's an extraordinary difference in the ability to buy and have a retirement and the ability to have an inheritance for your children. So we want to get to understand that. Well, and, and we want people to understand why we're here. Our focus is is to get people uh, the knowledge that they can make right decisions with. Yes. If you don't have proper knowledge, it's, imp it's impossible to make right decisions. I mean, you're just going to flip in a coin or you're just going to be guessing. Yeah. Um, I took an extreme interest in this probably uh, 12, 15 years ago. Um, just saw so much in the so many people in the body of Christ is just like their heads buried in the sand that they're not mm -hmm. paying any attention. Really, it's kind of like that for the world. Their heads buried in the sand. As long as things are going okay, they don't pay any attention to what's going on. That's right. We really need to pay attention to what's going on in the financial system. Charles, we should have been for the last yeah, oh, ten plus years. Doubt, yes. As a matter of fact, probably for the last fourteen years. 9-11 was a wake-up, and Charles dragged me into television a couple years ago, kind of kicking. You really didn't want to. <laughs> because I'm kind of a shy person. I never thought I wanted to get in front of this. But, you know, we have started this for the last couple years because exactly what Charles was saying, we wanted the body of Christ to understand. And, you know, Charles is a wonderful man of God in that scripture. And I have knowledge, in-depth knowledge of the financial system and then the deception of so what we're trying to do is bring information for you and your family. I know, you know, our, our family over there at Christian Television Network, you know, they've heard this before. Uh, but those of all of our new, uh, new viewers that have never seen the program understand we're here to bring that news and information about what's going on so you can actually make intelligent decisions based on spiritual understanding, biblical understanding, and yet information on how the world's deceiving you so you can decipher that and put yourself into a properly protected asset. Now you've said this several times, you're not even concerned about people buying from you. Not oh, important. I mean, obviously yeah. you're in the business, you've got plenty of business. Your, your focus is to get people to get into something that's tangible so that it really when things mm -hmm. turn sour, they're gonna, things will correct again without question, that they will be established, and they need to really get established uh, financially for their future. They should have always been, is the point I want to get across, no is we should have always been out of this. Our biggest battle is our financial advisors, bankers, accountants, nice people not probably, 
but they're educated and in, in the systems of the world. They have no understanding of this. I'm amazed at how bankers and financial advisors try to shame people and make them feel silly for being involved in this asset. When in the last 10 years, this asset has outperformed any other asset class and the reason that's so important for you and the body. Again, 100,000 of this 10 years ago is probably worth maybe 70,000 in buying power. 100,000 in this is worth 400,000. There's no comparison. The numbers are the numbers, but it's the deception and the body of Christ is really missing this because why? The retirement accounts, 401ks, IRAs are susceptible. Many people barely are broken even from 2008. They, they're still in this. They're in the bond market, the stock market. They, some of them are starting to make profit again. But have you, when you look at real inflation in the last eight years, seven years? I'd say no. The retirement system, our retirement accounts, and the reason we bring it up, it's where we are, Americans, with most of our money. It's that important. And so people are like, well, how do I, they need the education. I always say the best investment is, is in education and knowledge. So you know, people want to know how do you get started? What are ways you can approach it? At least initially to get started, here are some things you can do. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. Now, I know we've been talking about the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank, and it, it seems kind of dry. It's China. I mean, what's the big deal for America? Uh, but we have to keep in mind that China has surpassed America as the largest exporter in the world. This bank that was established is to designed to take out the Western version of the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank. Why is that important to us here in the United States? Because our currency is tied to the reserve currency status of international trade finance and the purchase of crude oil. Why is this important? This is where we we're getting ready to go to earlier, Charles. We have printed so many trillions of these since we came off the gold standard in 1971 that we've now become sort of irrelevant in the, in the respectable, credible world of, of assets and finance. Now, granted, we're still the dominant. We obviously have the best military in the world. That's really the only thing keeping us afloat. But the essential nature of understanding this reserve status, we, all of us watching probably, have only remembered this as the reserve currency. Literally, after World War II, we were the dominant currency of the world. So we don't know any better. The world needed dollars. That's why they bought our bonds. That's why we've had a prosperous American lifestyle. We don't understand this has only been a blip in history. Why is this important at the Asia Bank? Is because as this plays out, what they're really doing in China is strategizing to take out the American dollar dominance, force us to be one of a handful of currencies, and if we get marginalized any more than we already have been, inflation or if anything, I understand we're in deflationary times, but don't tell me we're 100% deflationary when most things we're buying are more expensive. So we're in a very unique place in our economic cycle and history, and what we believe is coming is going to be so ferociously drastic compared to 2008, market crashing, that if we're not properly positioned this time, we're really going to lose a lot of all of our hard-earned wealth. And I believe, the, I know Charles and I are in this, the body of Christ must be properly protected for the medium to long term because we are the only ones who will allow 
Jesus Christ to remain out front. And if we don't have the resources, we're not going to be able to do that. Terry, I, I, I don't want to throw a curve in this teaching today, but at the same time, I'm hearing you say things with the same terminology that the news speaks. That when you talk about the currency of the United States or, or uh, the U.S. currency, Federal Reserve notes, you talk like the government owns this. And I think that it confuses people. Uh, That's this, a good point. This has good been a, point. To yeah. me, it's it's it's... To me, it's kept people in confusion about the banking system. The banking system operates independent of the U.S. government. Yes. U.S. Yes. government makes rules for them, but they, the reason they make rules, the reason they get to print so much money is because the government needs so much money that they borrow from them or mm -hmm. actually give them bonds or T-bills mm -hmm. uh, in exchange for them, and they just keep printing money. Yeah. And Do you we, know the Central Bank, Charles, has said to the Congress, Go ahead and audit us and go ahead and do what you think you need to do and we'll crash the economy. Oh, I'm sure Be they That's have. how tight it is, though. Well, so what you're saying is so importantly true. I mean, and, and people need to know that about this, this bank that you're talking about. In the Asia, Asian bank, the, yes. The government doesn't operate this bank, although I'd say the government has more of a thumb on it in China, in than, China? than ours does. And the United States really dislikes this. Matter of oh, fact, I'm it's sure. the biggest embarrassment in the global system today. You haven't heard about it because our media doesn't give you truth. You'd be stunned at how dishonest we are uh, in the media centers because everyone's got this agenda and it's all leading to a hybrid type of socialism. So it's just the way it's going. You're not stopping it. So what we need to do is just be properly positioned so we can be there for our families, our churches, our ministries, and continue the movement to Jesus Christ. But Charles so, is exactly right. Our government is not happy that this Asian bank system is developed. W w I think people need to just be aware that the banking systems are so independent of the government. Really, the only dependency that they have on them is the ability to print so much money. The wealthy, super wealthy, are getting super wealthier. And yes. I know that terminology is incorrect, but at least you, you, you're getting what we're saying, I hope. Uh, and the, the, the country is not run by politicians in and of themselves. Not it's even close. run by the monetary system. That run by the, the money. How much can I bring home to my town? And it's all about the money. The, it's, we've lost our way. Is you're what's exactly happening. right. The, the people in the business world call it the gold rule. He which has the gold rules, not the golden rule, the gold rule. Uh, so anybody that has the tangible assets which is what happens when th this is exchanged mm -hmm. for whatever it's exchanged for. Right. Uh, and then people have this on behalf of something. It really has no tangible uh, abilities anymore. Not like there's, it used to. Yeah, because there's no gold standard, there's no silver standard. Right. No, it's tied to nothing now. We don't understand it, though, because it's, it's been so long since we've had to care. But what, right. we, what it means really is you're buying goods and services right now. I don't know about, I know you do, and most of us should remember when bread was a dollar a loaf. When gas was... I'm going to tell you how you much know, I remember. Uh, 20 cents, <laughs> exactly. I know. Exactly. <laughs> Everything, books and batteries and cars and clothes Everything. and you name it, yeah. all used to be a lot but cheaper. We, but we make more money now. No, we don't. <laughs> and that's the lie. See, I tell that's you. That's the deception. That's the deception. Is, is in relationship to what we spend for yes. the same product. Uh, if all you have to do is look at it. Yeah. And, and you can see that we're really not making any more money. We've no. not gotten ahead, the average Matter person. Fact, we are going into a program here. This is kind of a, a, kind of a beginning of it. But we're entering into this, this new phase of talking about the Asia Bank and what we're really going into over the next few weeks, which is really going to be some good information, is how this Asian Bank was just the beginning. What it really is leading to is China is getting ready to become a world reserve currency as one of five or six no, no, currencies. What, what's that mean, world Meaning reserve Meaning every currency. bank in the world would want to have a certain amount oh, of them. Okay. Now, here's what's interesting. So it'll be an exchange medium. Yes. Like a world exchange medium. Yep. And what people think, you think the dollar is the world's reserve currency. Well, you can... That's not you, accurate. But you can go into another country. I've, I've been in India, Peru. They don't want them. Well, some... Go some to Europe. Are. They'll say, I want a euro. Yeah, okay, but some of the countries will take this in a heartbeat. Because they're pegged to the dollar. Exactly. But it's changing. Yeah, that's, that's and this my is point. Where, that's what, what I want people to get. What people hear. don't know, we're not a reserve currency. as sole reserve currency. We're just not. 
and what's getting ready to come come October, let alone the September Shemitah and the blood moons and oh my gosh, are we got a perfect storm coming. Our retirement accounts are so in jeopardy if we don't get diversified properly because come October, China is going to become part. I'm almost certain they're going to and wait till you see these programs in the next few weeks leading up to this. We're going to show you the real data how why this is not. When you see well, this is only a part of the reserve system and you see the real numbers, you're going to be stunned. And when you see that China's coming in to the reserve currency system, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's not that the dollar's going away. See, this is where the deception is taking place. It's not going to collapse into Bolivian. It's going to be marginalized. What, what do you mean by that? It's going to be made less important. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the reason that's important for us. If this is less important in the world, one of a handful, guess what? All those printed trillions start to come home, become worth less. The stuff you're storing in the bank becomes worthless. And that word worthless, worth less, is really important to get because mm. our buying power in the future will be significantly decreased. Would it be, we all know what that means would it, already. Would it be easier then for the world banking system to scoot the American or the U.S. currency aside? There, that's exactly what's going to happen. It will not only scoot it aside, we will be marginalized to the point where we're just one of a handful. And the problem is we have too many of these Ooh, out there. You, lose, you start losing control. But when you, a, you not only uh, lose control, it starts coming home. Mm. And if these start coming home, goods and services get more expensive. So, so you're saying there's going to be more of those in circulation in America. Yes. Which, which this, will just simply be a, a smaller piece of the pie. It which, will lose its ability to buy something. Okay. You can't buy anything with a dollar right now. Your retirements and our 401ks and the ministries and the monies we store for the future, we're storing in the wrong system. What can you do about it? Plenty. Start with an education and here are some ways you can. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. Now what I'd like to do before we end this, this program here is give you the top eight steps China has taken to get to this point and then from there show you the, an actual map of the membership of this bank and how it's going to be impacted and then over the next few weeks we'll get into more of the actual details and show the impact to your future buying power which is so vital to understand because you remember now this started when China became the world's uh, largest manufacturer because remember they weren't even manufacturing actually it was Walmart that started the manufacturing process really in China and then everything now is made in China so first they become this world's manufacturer everything starts getting made in China well of course that starts generating wealth for them and then they take over the US as the world's largest exporter in trade that was a huge move to do because we were always the dominant nation in, in business and exports. And we wonder why there's nearly a hundred million Americans out of work. The numbers you see on unemployment, false. The numbers you see on people getting jobs, false. Most of them are government jobs. We're going to show you the real data. The numbers on unemployment, once people run out of unemployment, they're no longer considered unemployed. It's just amazing smoke and mirrors going on. So you have to understand that we have exported our jobs. I'm from Detroit. I know what exporting jobs are. Look at Detroit today. I grew up when it was an amazing city. Look at it today. Number three, they formed an alliance, China did. Brazil, Russia, India, South Africa, known as the BRICS. 
This alliance is really big. It makes up well over a third of the world's population. Very strong and powerful. Minimizes America. We're only a few hundred million now, Sorry, mind what you. What are they doing with the alliance? I mean, how what the are, alliance is, is forming only? financial agreements. They're doing agreements in their own currencies. Okay. No longer using the dollar. The alliance is to take down the American dominance because Russia mm. is definitely in the crosshairs of trying to take us down. Then they do a major energy deal. China does with Russia. This major energy deal they did with Russia. They initially were going to do it in the dollar because that's what all, that's what the whole petrodollar is about. Every oil and energy has to be purchased in a dollar. They did it in their own currencies, mm. totally stiffing us. And that is so vital to understand because now we're losing grip. We have the best military. I'm an ex-army soldier. I, I love that. But we are losing our grip in this. Then, then beyond that, they formed the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank which is now the biggest thing going globally to challenge the Western IMF. So huge to know because it's challenging this dominance. And then, of course, they're applying for the SDR, Strategic Drawing Rights of the IMF, which is the basket of reserve currencies. And you may not even understand that. We think this is the reserve currency. Wait till you see over the next few weeks how it's not. When China gets that status this October, this is going to lose what you could say market share, and that will get weird. So let's go to this first image here, just to leave you with this. This is the membership of this Asian bank. Everything in red, those are the members. You notice a lot of them are our allies. Go to the next one, number two. There's a cleaner view. Here's the world's map, and in the world's map, you will see red Asia bank. The rest, us. And don't think Canada, they're on the waiting list. They're getting ready to go. We have lost the grip. You can take that off. What that really means, we have lost the control factors, and we have to watch out. Next week, we'll dig into this more. God bless you, and we'll see you again. You can watch these programs on demand 24-7 on your personal computer by going to cornerstoneassetmetals.com. Terry and I will be back next week right here, same place, same time. Join us then for more of The Wealth Transfer. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you with cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call or register now. 303-566-1000.